psych yourself up, build yourself up, ready to go out and to be this exuberant person that has to try and get customers. Hey guys, don't be shy. Come on, give it a try. Come on, it's half price, half price tonight. Yes, it's half price. Come on, jump in. It's free, it's free, free. Yes, free, three pounds each. Come on, jump in. The base is a Victorian construction using bricks. It's part of the Holborn Viaduct development which was built in 1868 and it comprises about seven high barrel vaults side by side by side by side by side connected by a tunnel that runs through the middle of them. It's about 120 meters long and ends in a dead end. The bricks are extremely damp. Uh, the humidity in the air is about 94 to 96% most of the time. It rusts everything very quickly in here. And as a mechanic, this is a big problem. Things that, things that shouldn't rust, rust. Things that you would normally never have to deal with become huge problems in here. There are the different arches are occupied by different companies and different groups and different demographic groups. Some arches are Hungarians and Poles. Other arches are Spanish and South Americans. Other arches are Bangladeshis and, uh, and just random people from all over. It's filled, filled to the gills with rickshaws. In fact, there are so many rickshaws in here that it's very difficult for people to actually bring all the bikes back at night and find a space. People don't expect rickshaw drivers to be mostly respectful. They expect them to be a bunch of, like, gypsies. But they're not. Most of the guys are very honest, very straight, and robust, strong characters. You choose to do this job. This is 21st century London. You can work in shelf packer in Sainsbury's. They're desperate for people. This job tends to filter out people with too much ego, too much arrogance, too much vanity, too much pride. They tend to be filtered out. Over the years, many people have come to the rickshaw, to the rickshaw world, and have found it a haven because it allows them to earn money straight away. You've got to have a certain kind of philosophical nature to do this job. You need a lot of persistence and determination. And, you know, pulling this bike is physically really hard. You've got three people and they want to go somewhere where it's a little bit up a hill. It will kill you. When I was rickshawing, there was only 23 bikes. So it was, a different, it was a different thing entirely. At first, it was a, quite an adventure. I had this romantic notion that it would be like a gondola of Soho, taking cargoes of starstruck lovers through the Talgi Bosky streets. But the reality couldn't be more different. It was about as romantic as a boxing match, mostly drunken, out of control lads, smacking you across the bottom, shouting mush. We're providing not just an A to B service, we're providing an emotional experience. There are far more rickshaws than there were before. I think it's possibly more than a thousand now on the streets. I think that people come to London thinking that the streets of London are, are paved with gold, but they're not. They're paved with broken glass, broken promises, broken dreams, broken hearts, broken spirits, broken minds, broken people. You'll see them every day. You pass them, the, the tired, the downtrodden, the disillusioned, the dispossessed. London is, is as I said before, a, 
the city of extremes.